bringing you July housing market updates from C2C Mentors, LLC. If I could summarize July housing statistics, this is what I would say. Increase in inventory, homes taking longer to sell, sellers cutting on prices, and builders offering incentives to buyers. Mortgage rates have increased about 60% within one year. This has led to a fall in demand for houses for six straight months, something we have not seen within the pandemic years. Inflation was at 8.5% in July. This was good news to the Federal Reserve. In June, inflation was at 9.1%. So the Federal Reserve is convinced that what they are doing in increasing interest rates is actually taking care of inflation. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, August 26, at the Wyoming Central Global Banking Summit, he made it clear that the Federal Reserve will take more forceful and rapid action to deal with inflation. This translates to more increase in interest rates. So we will see more interest rates by the end of the year. This will translate to a fall in demand for housing, which will also translate into more inventory, giving buyers more options than ever before. Since March 2022, the Federal Reserve has increased interest rates by 225 basis points. In January 2022, there was a focus of four interest rate increases in this year. So far, we have seen three. Most probably by the last quarter, we will be seeing one. So if you think that the interest rates are high now, we will see interest rates going up more. Builders are now being creative with their options. Some builders in the Houston market, for example, are now offering to pay your gas and electric bill for one year when you buy a home. Builders are also offering incentives, 1%, 2%, to help you buy down your interest rates. All this is telling about this condition of the market. Let's look at the month of July in context with regards to the greater national picture when it comes to housing. The number of active listings in July inventory actually went up by 5.9%. The total number of sales dropped by 9.6%. New for sale listings actually dropped by 13.6%. The new for sale listings with price cuts actually increased by 18.6%. So sellers are trying to catch up with the changing market. Rental market actually increased by 0.6% in July, but if you compare rental market this year and last year, July, there's an increase by 13.2%. Rent is high, inflation is high, mortgage is high, and the demand for houses has dropped. Home values declined by 0.1% in the month of July 2022. But home values have actually gone 44.5% since July of 2019. The median home price for the month of July was at $439,000 and this is up about 8.2% from July of 2021. New single family home sales actually dropped 
by 12.6% in July. And this is the lowest we have had in six and a half years. So the interest rates are really killing the market. We had 464,000 new homes in the month of July. And this is the highest we've had since 2008. In the month of June, we only had 450,000 units built. I've had so many builders telling me some of the clients have pulled out of the contracts. They got this contract when the market was still hot. At this time, they cannot afford to close on those homes. Builders are doing everything possible. Some builders are offering 1%, 2% incentive to allow buyers to buy down the interest rates. The market has changed. Real estate is local. Real estate is market specific. So whenever you talk about real estate, always look at your local market. I'm looking at the Houston market. That is my market. Let's look at the numbers uh, between June and July and see how they play with the national average. Total number of homes for sale in June was at 774,000. In July, it went up to 8,155. That represents about a 5.7% increase. More inventory. Interest rate is up. Prices are up. Less people are buying. Let's look at another good indicator here. Homes sold under the listing price. That gives you an idea of the direction of the market. In June, homes sold under the listing price was about 23.2%. In July, it went up to 47.3%. That tells you the sellers are adjusting to the changing tides of the market. Two years ago, this was phenomenon was non-existent. So you can see the effect of the increase in interest rates. It is working. The number of homes that were sold in June was 2,200 and 56 and the number of homes that were sold in july was 1734 that was a decrease in about 23.2 percent people are more worried about inflation people are more worried about putting food on the table interest rates are high uh, the Federal Reserve is saying they're going to increase more interest rates. The same day, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, August 16, announced that the Fed was going to be more aggressive. Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, and together, they lost about $12 billion within an eight-minute speech by the Federal Reserve Chairman. There is panic. So people are pulling out of buying houses, and it shows. Of course, average days in the market in June was about 29 days, and in July, it was about 30 days. I don't know about your market, but this is my market here in Houston. Are we heading towards a recession? No, we are not heading towards a recession. That will be a topic for another video. Are we going to see more increase in inventory? Yes, because the Federal Reserve will push up the interest rates more and more people will be disqualified out of the market and builders will be forced to offer even more incentives and more price cuts for homes moving forward. This has been an update from C2C Mentors on your monthly housing market statistics. Thank you.